The purpose of this session is to gain an understanding of what food and beverage manufacturing is. Working in the food and beverage manufacturing industry. The aptitude for working in the food and beverage manufacturing industry and skills acquisition. And designing a career by working in the food and beverage manufacturing industry. Lesson 1. Outline. Let's get started with the session. What kind of work do you imagine when you hear the words food and beverage manufacturing? Food and beverage products are made in restaurants, food stalls, and many other places in your home countries as well. Of course, in Japan, there are also restaurants and food stalls where food is prepared and served to customers. However, the food and beverage manufacturing industry we are discussing in this session is about the production of food and beverage products in large quantities in sanitary environments in factories. This applies to various products sold in large quantities at convenience stores and supermarkets, such as packaged lunches, prepared foods, canned foods, retort pouch foods, fresh foods such as meat and fish and processed foods such as ham and sausage. Now, let's hear from those who came to Japan before you to work in the food manufacturing industry. What led you to consider coming to Japan? Why did you choose to work in the food and beverage manufacturing industry? お金の会社から作ったものとかを食べましたよね。美味しいかなとか考えて幸せな、あの、感じました。大切、大変な時は美味しいものを食べると幸せとか、あの、頑張る力とか出るから、自分もその仕事をやりたいなって、あの、感じ
failure to maintain good control can result in the contamination of food products with foreign substances, mass outbreaks of food poisoning, and other problems that can seriously damage the company's reputation and even force it out of business. Since it is very important for the company that its employees maintain food hygiene, they are expected to work with the utmost care. The workplace is a hygienic, indoor environment where workers are required to wear uniforms, hats, gloves, and masks to prevent hair and other contaminants from getting into the food. Before entering a work area, the following steps are required. Hair and loose threads are carefully removed from the uniforms using a device that sucks in dirt like a vacuum cleaner. Dust is then removed from every crease with an adhesive roller. The hands are washed according to the prescribed procedures with antimicrobial soap and a nail brush, and then disinfected with alcohol. Finally, one must enter an air shower to blow away any remaining dust with strong wind. There are also detailed checks of not only work procedures but also clothes, so it is necessary to follow these rules every single day. Lesson 3. Work Aptitude and Skills Acquisition Traits of People Suited for Work in the Food and Beverage Manufacturing Industry Some of the traits required for this work include, first and foremost, they must be very conscious of hygiene and cleanliness. They must have good manual dexterity, as there is a lot of detailed work such as food arrangement. And they must have endurance, as the same tasks are repeated every day. Furthermore, people who are cooperative when working as a team and who have good time management skills are suitable for this type of work. Let's take a look at a typical day of food and beverage manufacturing work. Change into work clothes. When you get to work, you change into my uniform in the changing room. Coordination and hygiene check. Follow the rules before entering the work area and carefully check hygiene. Work on site. Work with speed and precision. Lunch break. Eat well, take a break, and prepare for my next job. Hygiene check again. Make sure to practice proper hygiene again and enter the work site. Work on site. Continue to work hard without making any mistakes. Cleaning and organizing. At the end of the day, clean and tidy up and prepare for the next day's work. Then work is complete. Work hours are usually between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., with about 7.5 hours of actual work. There is also some overtime work. Large factories have introduced shift work with three shifts per day. There is no overtime in that case, but extra wages are paid for night work. At factories that support convenience stores, there are many part-time jobs at late night and early morning. The next topic is the acceptance of foreign nationals in the food and beverage manufacturing industry. A certain status of residence is required to work in food and beverage manufacturing. Applicable statuses of residence are technical and turn training. Specified skilled worker, 1. And student, who has received permission to engage in activity other than that permitted by the status of residence. Let's start with technical intern training. The technical intern training status of residence allows you to learn techniques and skills as you work. It is a system in which you work at a Japanese company and acquire the skills that the company possesses. The system's purpose is to have technical intern trainees apply these skills in their own country after returning home. It is part of Japan's international cooperation program. The specified skilled worker, 1, status of residence was newly created in April 2019. There are certain jobs in predetermined industries in addition to food and beverage manufacturing industry, such as senior nursing care and building cleaning, 
and knowledge or experience in each field is required. Those who come to Japan on this status are expected to be able to work immediately and demonstrate their competence. The last status of residence is student. As a general rule, working is not allowed with this status of residence. If you receive permission to engage in activity other than that permitted by the status of residence, you will be able to work part-time or do an internship for no more than 28 hours a week. However, it is prohibited by law to work more than 28 hours per week. Furthermore, scholarship recipients may be prohibited from working, so you must check regarding this matter. The status of technical intern training lets you work for up to five years in Japan. The status of specified skilled worker, one, also allows you to work in Japan for five years. After working for three years as a technical intern training, you can change the status to a specified skilled worker, one. If you first work for five years as a technical intern training and then change the status to a specified skilled worker, one, you can work for a maximum of 10 years in Japan. As of October 2021, 138,000 foreign nationals were working in the food and beverage manufacturing industry. The first step to work in Japan as a technical intern training is to apply to recruiting announcements at a recruitment agency. After undergoing training at the recruitment agency, the accepting company will be selected and a contract arranged. Then your arrival in Japan will be finalized. When you arrive in Japan, a supervising organization in Japan will assist your entry into Japan and provide support for your daily life and work after your arrival in Japan. If you successfully complete food and beverages technical intern training, do, or, three, you can change your status of residence to specified skilled worker, one, without taking a test. Other people must pass an evaluation test and a Japanese proficiency test in order to obtain a status of specified skilled worker, 1. The status of specified skilled worker, 1, allows you to work in Japan for up to 5 years. The manufacture of food and beverages skills proficiency test is conducted entirely in Japanese, using an answer sheet system in Japan and a computer-based testing system outside of Japan. The examination consists of two sections, a subject test and a practical test. Those who receive passing scores within the allotted time for each of the tests will pass the exam. In order to prepare for the manufacture of food and beverages skills proficiency test, test preparation materials can be found online and elsewhere and videos on the practical test have also been published. Currently, more than 18,000 people are residing in Japan with the status of a specified skilled worker. About 90% of them changed status from technical intern training, too. With specified skilled worker, 1, status, you have various paths to further develop your career. You can continue to work at the company in Japan where you did your technical intern training or you can register at a public employee support organization or recruitment agency in Japan and seek employment on your own. The next topic is food and beverage manufacturing qualifications. There is a qualification system for the technical intern training in the food and beverage manufacturing industry. There are three levels of qualification, beginner, professional, and advanced. Increasingly, those who have attained the professional level are challenging themselves to attain the ready-made meal specialist qualifications for Japanese people. On the job training is the basic way to learn the job in order to get higher qualifications than what you have currently. Now. Let's listen to a trainer of the company that accept foreign nationals. What are your training goals for foreign nationals? Well, 
平均2級<笑>目指すべきは1級<笑>というところであの月に1回なんですけども社内でも勉強会を実施して受験者数の8割は合格してほしいなという目標を立ててるんですがまだまだ5割以下ぐらいの合格率ですので、まあ、それをですね今年度に関してはそこまで持ち上げるようなことをしていきたいなというのがまず一つの側面の目標です。もう一つビジネスマンとしてはですねあのやはりあの少なくとも会社で働くにはコミュニケーション能力っていうのがやっぱりとても重要になりますので、まあ、人にこう、まあ、不安とか不満とかですね、えー、感じさせないようなそういったような、まあ、言葉の使い方っていうことをしっかり、まあ、教え込んだ上で、まあ、現場でですねその、まあ、なんていうんですかねアンケートじゃないんですけども本人たちがしっかりやってるかというかそういう教えたことが反映されてるかどうかということは、まあ、確認をしてるんですけどもどうしてもここは訂正管理になっちゃうと思うのでなかなか数字で表すっていうのは今のところ、まあ、持ってないかなって感覚的な感じになっちゃうんですけどもこのあと今年はそれを、まあ、定量管理することが目標かなという。うちは食品なので安全性っていうことがどうしても日本人と比べて、まあ、ちょっと弱いところがあるんですね。まあ、そこの部分に関してはしつこくなぜにこのルールなのかとかこれがやらないとどうなっちゃうのかとか、まあ、そういったようなことを伝えながらやはり難しい言葉になってくるのでその部分に関しては例えばそのうちでもですねあの通訳がでの社員がいますんでその社員の方にまあ通訳したものをですね渡していただくもしくは同席させるということをして理解していただくってことはしてますね。Through your daily work, you should refine your skills and aim to achieve higher qualifications. Lesson 4 Career Design There are many international students working after having received permission to engage in activities outside their status of residence. However, ever since the specified skilled worker status was created in 2019, Increasing numbers of people are taking the exams in Japan and working as specified skilled workers. It is expected that even more people will change their status of residence from technical intern training to specified skilled worker going forward, so there will be increasing numbers of foreign nationals working at higher levels. Nearly all technical intern trainees who returned home said their experiences in Japan were useful for them for one reason or another. When asked how their work experience was useful, the top answers included not only acquired skills but also experience of living in Japan, acquired Japanese proficiency, workplace discipline, attention to detail in work, money saved in Japan. Exchanges with Japanese people and workplace safety measures. Specific abilities that respondents mentioned included skills to prepare food in large quantities, food hygiene control skills, awareness of organization, orderliness, and cleanliness, awareness of time management, awareness of confirming and reporting operations, and business Japanese skills. On the 2020 survey, around 33% of technical intern trainees who had returned home said they are working for a company or have a job lined up. In addition, more than 19% said they started a business after returning home. Now, let's listen to a trainer of the company that accepts overseas workers. How are you promoting career education for foreign nationals? 当社もですね技能実習生の中から実習生のリーダーというのをまず最初作るんですねで在籍であの2年目の子から作るんですけどその2年目の子というのはやはりその周りのですね従業員あの360度の観点でアンケートを取っていくんですけどもみんなが納得した方を選んでいくんですね。でその残った方が、えー、実習期間終わって特定技能生になった時にはネクストリーダーって役職があるんですけど
その役職に昇格をさせて、まあ、認めた人材が日本人と同じようなパートナーリーダーというですね、まあ、ある意味あのちゃんとした事例を出す役職になるんですけども、えー、手当も全て日本人と同じようなものに仕上げていってますんで、まあ、キャリアプランとしてはそういう本人の立ち位置職員の立ち位置ということに関しては形はもうできてるかなと。How would like to see your foreign nationals develop in the future? あのよくあのニュースとかでも労働力としてなんていうふうに発言される企業さんもあるんですけどもそうではなくてやはりあのせっかく縁があってこの日本という国に来てくれたわけなのでやはりその日本で学んでですねあそこの国に行ってよかったなっていうふうに思ってもらえるような。まあ、そういったようなことをですね、持ち帰ってもらいたいので、まあ、あの技術力もそうですし、モラル面もそうですし、規律性を高めた人材として持って帰ってもらって、国の発展にやっぱりこう使ってもらいたいなっていう気持ちがすごくありますね。What influence have foreign nationals had on your company? かなりの成長性といいますか、改善があったなと思うのが、日本人従業員が、気配り心配りがすごく増えたなっていうのがありまして優しく語りかけるとか、まあ、やはりあの外国の方そういった方が多くなることにこうして翻訳をしっかりしたものを載せていかないとみんな納得できないよねっていう意見が出たりとか、まあ、本当相手を思いやるっていうことはすごく空気感として生まれたのが企業としても非常に良かった点じゃないかなと。Now. Let's hear from those who came to Japan before you to work in the food manufacturing industry. What was an upside of working in Japan? What are your dreams for the future? 今はあの日本での会社で社員正社員になりたいです。日本に社員になりたいです。How do you hope to use your future experience? 会社が認められているエリート会社員になりたいですから、この経験とかをあのいっぱい利用してから行きます。国に帰る時も。あこの経験を利用して、まあ、子どもたちにあ日本語を教える賛成にもなりたいです。The food and beverage manufacturing business is an industry that is expected to grow Japanese convenience stores and supermarkets continue their aggressive expansion to overseas markets, which gives you the ability to change your career for the better. Japan's food and beverage manufacturing industry makes many foods, based on global standard food hygiene management methods. Experience working in a sound hygiene environment with strong safety management in Japan will be invaluable your career advancement. <laughs> 